Welcome to Lake TV's Community Spotlight Show presented by the great folks at COMC, Central Ozarks Medical Center, where your health is their mission. And we've got one of the biggest business guys in town sitting in with us here today. <laughs> it's Mark Brick of the Brick Empire. How's Mark? Oh, good, good. Thank you for coming by. Appreciate you bet. it very you much. Bet. Thanks for the invite. First time we've got to meet. Yeah. So uh, when, when I say the Brick Empire, I'm talking Village Marina. Right. Yes. And the Boathouse Restaurant, which is there basically at the Marina. Oh, yeah. Right. Yep. And then on the strip, you've got Casablanca, you've got the Brick House. Yes. So you've got a whole lot going on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So when I was getting ready for the show, I was doing a little, you know, searching uh, of, of like the Village Marina yeah. and found out that it is the longest continually run marina at the Lake of the Ozarks. Yeah, it started in uh, 1962. My uh, parents are the third owner of it. Um, each owner, they just kind of grow, grow older and, and retire and sell. It seems like that's been the, the, the history of the place. It worked pretty good. It did. The formula did. is good, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and yeah the, your family, the Bricks, bought it in the 90s, I think. Uh, ni yes, 92. Okay. Yep. 92. So uh, it's been, what, 30-some years? That it you has guys been a while. Have owned that. So yeah. did you grow up? At the lake, at the marina, or did you grow up somewhere else? So we, uh, like in grade school, we were up in Clear Lake, Iowa. We're from, you know, West Des Moines and uh, spent our summers there. And then when I was, uh, I mean, 14 years old, uh -huh. we moved, uh, the lease of the lake house. My parents bought a, a house down here. And uh, so, yeah, since I was 14, um, been down here at the lake. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you kind of grew up at 14. All right, 14. Right? Here at the lake. Much I remember. Absolutely. Yeah. Back and forth to, to Iowa. That's yes. Right. And your dad uh, was a lawyer? Yes. That's right. So yes. how in the world did he decide to get in the marine business? Well, it's funny. <clears throat> we've always had, I mean, we've always been boating and water sports, and he loves Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, and when he was 55, so he's an attorney, and at 55, he's like, I'm just tired, tired of being an attorney. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I'm going to go down and, you know, start looking for marinas. And we we're always a Cobalt boat fan. Yeah. And the so Village Marina was owned by the Hopkins family, and his dad was just retiring, and my dad had had an opportunity. I don't know if he knew much. Well, he didn't know anything about boats or boating. I mean, besides just having fun with it. Right. And uh, so at 55, he came down and bought the marina. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Did he continue to be a lawyer back in Iowa, or did he just move here and take over the marina? I think if, if he was sitting here, he'd say, unfortunately, I have to keep on, he had to be an attorney for about five years to keep the place afloat. So right, I, yeah. It, was, it, was, it wasn't as easy as he thought it was going to be. But Oh, I'm guessing that there was a whole lot to learn. Oh, yeah. Because that was completely different from what he had known to do. Was your mom on board with that? Yeah, so when they, they started, so mom, we, uh, Village Marina back, or in 1992, was a completely different animal right. than it was now. So yep. my my mom was making pasta salad, and we had a little deli, so she'd be doing the pasta salads, making sandwiches, and running the gas dock, and and all that type of stuff. So it's a, uh, so they were involved in that, in that, and then my dad would obviously just keep on uh, working at the law firm. Right, right, back yeah. and forth. So it was kind of a mom and pop kind of a organization back then. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And I was reading, you know, back in those days uh, when Village Marina opened, it had 30 slips. Yes. Uh, 30 slips and the biggest boat that it could hold was a 25 footer. Right. That's right. So that's right. I, I mean, that wouldn't even fly today. No, right? no. The back then, so like in 92, uh, the prior owners put up like these new dry racks, you know, you put the, the boats in the racks. Yeah. And, uh, he was, uh, the guy's like, oh, this would be a great money thing because uh, they're all, he goes, now I can start fitting 24 foot boats in the, in the dry racks because <laughs> before he used to have 18 foot. Yeah. And so he just thought that was the, the coolest thing. So, but since then we've had to tear it all down and like, 24 feet. <laughs> yeah, we can't even get our smallest <laughs> boats in there now. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's amazing uh, how, how much uh, the, the lake has grown in that way oh, yeah. with the traffic, the number of boats, but the size of the boats. Are you pro big boat? You like the big boats or do you think we've gone too big on the boats? Well, I think uh, it's kind of, I don't know, full circle or it's now I think the boat sizes are going down. Really? Okay. Oh yeah. So if you look at what was going on, say 10 years ago, uh, people were like back in the old party cove days and coven and, and, and all that type thing. Everyone had it seemed like that was the thing. Just like get bigger boats because they're living them on, they're staying there for the weekends. Yeah. But now, with all the lake bars, you can't get in a, to a lake bar with a 50-foot boat. Right. And so people are trying to get down to where they can get into the restaurants instead of getting into the coves. 
And so now, be back, say, 10 years ago, gosh, am I, yeah, 10, even maybe longer than that, <laughs> our biggest boat was 60 feet. Yeah. Uh, we had sold a 50, 57 Carver and a 65 Marquis. And right now, our biggest boat that we sell is a 35 Cobalt. Wow. Yeah. So, but the features on these boats are incredible. I mean, compared to they were 10 years ago, but I think definitely the size, and even like Sierra, you know, they don't really make anything above 40 feet. And, yeah. And Carver's no longer uh, in business anymore, so it's a... Uh, Seems like 35 to 40 is about as big as you're going to see on the, on the new side anyway. Wow. Well, yeah. for a little guy like me, that makes me happy, <laughs> right? Because right? yeah, right. uh, less rocking on my dock and stuff like that. But yeah, it is pretty amazing. I mean, those boats are incredible now with, with everything that they come with. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's funny that, <clears throat> I don't know if you remember, though, like they had the, the regulations of, of uh, the no wake for the big boats and stuff. Yeah. And now they're making these surf boats and they're like, you know, 25 foot ski boats but you you get behind there and you surf and you don't even need a rope yeah and those things are throwing rollers off. they are yeah, yeah. they fill up the with water the ballast and, bigger, and all that yeah. Kind of stuff yeah oh. so it's a i'm wondering what the new regulation will be of you know they're making i think they even have a 33 or 35 foot surf boats out there so look <laughs> out man look that's out. a tsunami <laughs> coming right there it is it oh is. It's Mark Brick, uh, one of the owners, Brick family, yes. owns uh, Village Marina and several restaurants. We'll talk more about all of that when we come back here on the Community Spotlight Show. If it's happening at the lake, it's happening on Lake TV. From the polar plunge to festivals, parades, aquapalooza, and boat shows, Lake TV has it all even the granddaddy of them all, the shootouts. If you're looking for places to party, things to do, or even a new home to move into, you've got to love Lake TV. Central Ozarks Medical Center voted Missouri's best and best at the lake is recruiting team members due to growth. Amazing employment opportunities for both medical and non-medical positions with competitive salaries and outstanding perks. For more information, go to the careers tab at centralozarks.org. COMC for the best medical, dental, and behavioral health care. Join a leader. Join our team. COMC where your health is our mission. Take Lake TV with you wherever you go. Watch Lake TV On Demand on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Welcome back to Lake TV's Community Spotlight Show presented by the great folks at COMC. We've got Mark Brick here with us. Uh, Brick Family is the owner of Village Maria and the Boat House, the Brick House, and Casablanca. And uh, and it is a family operation, right? Oh, it is. Oh, who, yeah. So your folks are still around. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, who's in charge? Who runs everything? Is it you? Is it your brother? Is it mom and dad? Or is it all of you together? Uh, I think we have different. That's funny you say that. It depends on the day. <laughs> who wants to take the family the, business? The, right, right, right. Yeah. So I primarily do uh, boat sales. I mean, that's okay. kind of my, uh, yeah, day, on my daily activities. I'm always really focused on boat sales. Uh, then my brother Ryan, he does the uh, restaurants. Okay. And my dad just uh, worries about the money and, the, and all that stuff, <laughs> <laughs> the administrative taxes and all You're that spending stuff. too much money, boys. That's right. Yeah, yeah. He just sits there and watches us. <laughs> that's greatness. But that's one of the fun things about family restaurants is, I mean, you've got that wonderful uh, formula going there. We're family. But sometimes it's not so wonderful because you just can't fire, you know, somebody in right. the family. Right. It's like, so you just kind of have to make it work. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, I think, you know, it's funny because my dad will say, you know, the challenges of family business, but at the same time, yeah, you can't fire them, but at the same time, they can't quit. There I mean, you go. You know, it's pretty yeah. difficult. They're like, you know, <laughs> where am I going to go? So, you know, it's, uh, there's, there's some pros and cons to it. Yeah. And you and your brother, Ryan, are down here. And I'm guessing you're the big hands-on oh, yeah. people right now. Yeah. And you guys have been working together forever. I mean, because you started up like a lawn care business when you were uh, way young, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you guys must get along pretty well. You know, yeah, it's funny. So we started that lawn care company. We were in high school. And, uh, you know, I was making like $200 a week putting these irrigation systems in. We were like, you know, big pimping back then. <laughs> and uh, so we, we did that. And we've always been, you know, coming up with ideas and trying to, you know, 
to start new businesses. Right. Hard workers. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So even though you guys, uh, your family obviously had money, your dad was a lawyer, bought Village Marina and stuff, it wasn't like a silver spoon kind of a thing. You guys worked. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like what I'm saying, there was like 30 boat slips and gas dock and uh, my mom making pasta salad. That's where it all started. It wasn't like uh, yeah. it is today. Yeah. And you did, I'm guessing you did a little bit of everything, right? Oh, everything. Ran, ran the gas docks at oh, certain yeah. times. Yeah. And... I've uh, been in charge of service before for a very short period of time. That's a that's a tough animal. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I've done, yeah, sales, the gas dock, the restaurants, the accounting. When people quit, then you have to step up and, you know, do stuff that you've never really done before. So yeah. that, that can be a fun t thing to do. Just you get exposure to a lot of different things. That's neat. So you're kind of the salesman, the boat uh, salesman. Your brother likes the restaurants. Yes. Was, is that a natural yeah. thing? Uh, or did he have to like learn the restaurant business or did you have to learn the selling business? Well, I've always been in sales, like in terms of, you know, I started right out of, out of college. My first job was a life insurance salesman, right. which, which everyone should probably try that once in their life. Absolutely. In the you learn how to do some sale and learn about rejection for sure. <laughs> yep. Um, so we've always been doing that. I think it's come, the boat sales has come easy, not the boat sales, but the, just the sales process yep. uh, from what we've done. And then Ryan's, uh, you know, he loves like design and building things and, and processes and, and that type of thing. So I think he really enjoys that. That's so neat though, that it, it, I mean, it, it's like a gift that you've got your strengths, he's got his strengths, and it just so happens to work for the family business. Right. It takes different skill sets, you know, so it's, it's not all of us aren't just salespeople, because that's one thing, but then you'll forget about a lot of the uh, cultural type type things. Yeah. And, and the facilities, look at the facilities, he he likes things real pretty, and, <laughs> yeah. uh, which is which good. Which is you important. That's important, yeah, you know. <laughs> absolutely. Um, and your wife is involved. I've yes. met your wife a couple of times, and, and I don't get to see her enough because she's like a nurse, yes, right? But yep. she also works in the family business. So when I see her, I see her as a nurse, like a New Spring Wellness Center oh, or yeah. something. Yeah. And she's like, I, I say, I don't get to see enough. She's like, well, I'm busy working over at my real job. Right, right, right. right. So the family is running things. And yes. you've got daughters, right? Oh, yeah. Do they have sites set on taking over for mom and dad at some point? or? No, they definitely don't. So <laughs> I have one that's uh, in med school, another one, she was uh, out in Hawaii doing like mission work, uh, and then another one that's ready to go to um, go to college this this fall. Uh, as of right now, I don't think any of them want to you know be part of the business. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, if I look back when I was 21 and my dad was buying the marina, I didn't want anything to do with the marina. Right. You know? Yeah. And here I and then 20 years later, was it not even 20 years later, 15 years later, I'm like, I want in. You know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's the way to go, right there. Right. Bring me to the lake. Yeah, it's funny how that happens, right? You know, yep. and, but that's normal for kids. They want to go out, do their own thing, experience something, come back, and right. You know, so that very easily uh, could happen. What's the funnest part of what you do? Uh, I'd say you know, just part of the, the sales thing. I get to meet so many different customers, and mm -hmm. it's not just when I I did work in banking for a while, and or any type of corporation. You just kind of meet the same people because you're just like in that little silo. Yeah. When you're in sales, I mean. I'm, I know a lot about lot. I know a lot about farming and IT and uh, just name all these different industries that people are in. Data storage now that's kind of like a di different thing. So different buyers come in, and they all have you know different walks of life, and it's um, so it's really just meeting meeting all the different people. That's my my favorite part of the job. Absolutely, and they do. And you guys are on the three mile marker. Three mile marker, right? And yes. back in the day, back when it opened, or back when your family bought it in the early 90s, it was a little slower than it is now. Oh yeah, it's just gravel roads <laughs> and, uh, and there was nothing going on. Yeah, not nearly as many boats out there and they weren't nearly as big. Uh, okay, so uh, you've got so much in the brick empire going yeah. on. How do people find out about Village Marina and the boat house and the brick house and Casablanca? Where would they go to find out about all of that? So we're pretty much on the traditional, um, you know, that, like Facebook is the, for at least around the lake, mm -hmm. we post a lot of stuff on Facebook about current events or uh, boat shows or different menu items or entertainment and that type of thing. So each each one of the businesses has its own Facebook page, like Casablanca and, and uh, Village Marina and all those places. But um, so I'd say Facebook's number one, or you can go to our website, villagemarina.com, at least on the boat side, and Casablanca LOZ for you know for, right. for Casa and the Strip. So um, the traditional ways are. Uh, you can also email us at uh, sales at villagemarina.com. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Mark Brick, 
Thank you for joining us. Appreciate you it. You bet. And thank you for joining us for Lake TV's Community Spotlight Show.